So just today on this random evening, the LA Lakers have just traded for NBA All-Star Russell Westbrook. This possibly might be the biggest trade of the whole offseason because now the Lakers have a big three to compete with the Brooklyn Nets. This is really exciting and has led me to make this video where I'll be discussing five things I believe you need to know about Russell Westbrook going to the LA Lakers. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want more NBA content like this and if you want to help me reach my goal of 1,500 subscribers, drop a comment on this video so that conversation with me as I do respond respond to all of my comments and play that intro. First thing you need to know about Russell Westbrook getting traded to the LA Lakers is that him going there is not going to be a great fit because although Westbrook is one of the greatest point guards in NBA history and he's one of the better point guards in the league right now, he is simply not a player who is easy to fit alongside alongside with easily and LeBron James is definitely someone who is not easy to play with because both him and LeBron are like some of the most ball dominant players in the NBA's history because we haven't really seen Russ play off the ball that much and when it comes to who's gonna have the ball more I think LeBron should probably have the ball more since he's like best but definitely having two of the better playmakers in the league's history on the same team can't be too big of a negative it's just that they're very ball dominant but LeBron can kind of play off ball because he can move move off the ball and he can shoot at the three ball at a decent level so maybe having Russ handling the ball more could be better so that they could actually like have him play good and stuff because if he's playing off ball I think he's not going to be that good or at least not be as good as he can be but there also is a shooting problem on this team because this Laker team was already a team that really struggled when it came to their outside shooting and that was a big reason why they lost to the Phoenix Suns because they simply couldn't hit enough three-pointers and it allowed teams to collapse the paint on LeBron and we all know Russell Westbrook is far from a great shooter he's probably a bad one and one of the worst shooting point guards ever when it comes to the three-point shot and the problem with Westbrook is that he shoots as much threes as if he's like a good three-point shooter he doesn't even just shoot open threes or anything like that he takes legitimately bad three-point shots for the like for the level of the shooter he is and anyone who knows the game of basketball can just tell that this team is definitely gonna have to play a lot of games together and get a lot of rhythm during the regular season along with chemistry because this team is simply not good at least on paper fit wise but nonetheless um they still have a big three now so it's not horrible but none of their three best players in lebron ad and westbrook can shoot outside consistently so that's definitely a worry i don't mean to start this video off negatively but it's kind of just obvious that they're not a great fit at all the second thing you need to know about this russell westbrook trade is that getting westbrook definitely gives the chance that like makes the chance the lakers defeat the brooklyn nets way higher because before the playoffs a lot of people thought there was a chance that the lakers can make the final and beat a fully healthy Nets team but after seeing them in the first round it was clearly obvious that they were not like a team that was like able to win the championship or at least beat that Brooklyn Nets team and yes they did deal with injuries and they probably would have made it back to the finals if they didn't have injuries but they clearly were just not going to beat the Nets since none of their like guys outside of LeBron or AD could step up because they never really had that third option type of player it was always inconsistent one day was um, Dennis Schroeder one day was KCP one day it was Kyle Kuzma or something like that and if you want to win a championship I think you have to have a legitimate third option and the Lakers were clearly just missing that but now they have a legitimate all-star in Russell Westbrook to be their third best player Russ is one of the best rim attackers in league history he's a guy who could attack the rim at will and he kicks it out to open players and although there's many negatives in his game there's also many positives in his game and he is not a top 10 like point guard in NBA history for no reason and in a series versus the Brooklyn Nets who have like a big three of Kevin Durant James Harden and Kyrie Irving I think you're just gonna need to have a lot of star power and right now the Lakers big three I would say is pretty even compared to the Brooklyn Nets big three and a lot of people might complain and stuff but I actually think it's good for the NBA because if we're being honest no team in the league was capable of beating the Brooklyn Nets if they were fully healthy but at, at least now we have a team that can compete with them whether or not you don't like want the Lakers to win or not we don't want to just see Brooklyn sweeping everyone so now this makes the NBA interesting 
The third thing you need to know about Russell Westbrook joining the Lakers is that Russell Westbrook very well might just make the LA Lakers the NBA title favorites once again. Because going into the season, the Lakers were title favorites, but when the Brooklyn Nets got James Harden, they became the favorites. And like also when the Lakers got injured and stuff like that. But now that they have Russell Westbrook, I think there's an honest chance that this makes the Lakers way better and gets them good enough to be the title contenders going into next season. And then there's also the chance that I like that it makes them significantly worse because of the fit and lack of chemistry and things like that but either way i think the lakers could either have a really good regular season or a really bad one because i can see them having a good one because russ is an amazing regular season player and you can like kind of carry like not carry but like you know really step up in the regular season and that way lebron and ad can coast somewhat and then in the playoffs they could turn it up and to be honest i think that's something important but i could honestly like see the lakers like like having the perfect fit having all their chemistry working everything like that or i could just see their chemistry not working at all and then they turn into a playoff disappointment at this point i don't want to predict which one is more likely but i definitely think there's a realistic chance that either of them happen but i guess we'll just have to see the fourth thing you need to know about russell westbrook joining the lakers is that the lakers now have absolutely no depth because in the trade, they had to give up Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and Montrez Harrell. And although those guys are inconsistent to a degree, these guys were still like like some solid like role players. Kuzma was a guy who was one of the Lakers' best three-point shooters during the regular season. And although he's a pretty dumb player, he is pretty underrated and a solid player. Montrez Harrell, who is a guy who won six men of the year just two seasons ago. They also have Kate, they also lost KCP, who's a great outside shooter and a solid defender. They definitely lost some depth, and depth was something that they were lacking before this trade, and now they're just really lacking it. Because now they have Alex Caruso, who's like a free agent right now. And although I do think they will resign him, there still is a chance he could leave and that would be absolutely terrible. Wesley Matthews is a free agent for them. Although he's really inconsistent, at least he's a good defender and a decent shooter. He could definitely get minutes. They have also, also Andre Drummond who's a free agent. And at this point in his career, I don't know if they should resign him because he's pretty washed up. I don't know. They also have Marcus Gasol coming back, which is pretty good. And guys like Markeith Morris and Ben McElmore are decent, I guess. And Taylor Horner Tucker, who's a guy who I think can really step up for them and be big for them this upcoming season is a restricted free agent so they have to pay him so the lakers depth is just simply not looking amazing right now and the only positive thing is that the brooklyn nets depth is not that good either but doing this trade definitely gets rid of the little gap the lakers had between the brooklyn nets and them the fifth and final thing you need to know about russell westbrook going to the la lakers is that the lakers are literally broke right now they have no money they can obviously like sign restricted free agents like Taylor Warren Tucker and things like that since they have his bird rights and stuff like that but they're the Lakers so you never know they could probably go over the salary cap and stuff because sometimes it seems like they're playing 2k and they just sign whoever they want but you have to realize that right now they have three of the biggest contracts in the league right now as they have Russell Westbrook who's making nearly 40 million a year I should worry no scratch that he's making over 40 million a year they also have LeBron James who's making over 40 million a year and Anthony Davis who's making over 40 million a year that's a lot of money eating into their cap space so for being honest i doubt they'll have enough money to sign some quality role players to help their depth out i think they should really try and re-sign caruso alongside with um taylor or tucker but outside of those two and maybe like a random free agent who's decent i literally don't see the lakers like adding another significant guy they were like rumored to get DeRozan or buddy heel but i don't think any of those trades are happening now that they traded cal kuzma but nonetheless, the Lakers really don't have that much money right now. And since they're getting Russell Westbrook in return, it really might not matter. But that's definitely something that you should know. But to conclude the video, this is obviously a really huge move. And it actually changes the whole NBA landscape. And it definitely has a chance to make the Lakers way better or significantly worse. I guess we'll just have to see. But overall, I would say it's a pretty good trade for the Washington Wizards since they got rid of Russell Westbrook's monstrous contract. And they didn't even have to take on a, like a monstrous contract themselves. They also got some decent assets out of it. And what they got in return wasn't as like, like, that like you would think, oh, for a guy like Russell Westbrook who's an all-star and things like that you would think they would get some really good assets you have to realize his age his injury concern also like how much money he's making and things like that so i think just basically getting like a few first round picks and stuff 
for that is definitely an amazing trade for them they should definitely be happy and on the lakers side obviously this is a risky trade but overall i would say it's a pretty dope like a big w for them but i thought a move they should have made was maybe trying to get demar DeRozan, maybe damian lillard or chris paul i don't i think the DeRozan one could have possibly happened maybe not the chris paul one and not the damian lillard one but i feel like DeRozan would have been better since he's a guy who could just create his own shot but nonetheless getting westbrook is better than having like no one and doing no trades so i'm not here to complain but overall i think it's a pretty decent trade for the lakers anyways guys that's it for the video let me know whether or not you think the lakers want this trade drop a like on this video as it does help my channel grow subscribe to my channel if you want more nba content like this and if you want to reach a goal of 1500 subscribers drop a comment on this video start a conversation with me as i actually do respond to all of my comments and i'm out